just really proud of of these guys and, and their bounce back you know uh, just a really solid game. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't perfect. It it wasn't. You know, pretty at all times. But at the end of the day, we got back to our identity about finding ways to win and making plays when we had to, and and showing some toughness when we had to. And you know, and we learned. Hopefully, we learned a lot from from that Purdue game. Um, and and like I've told you know numerous people, the last two days have been two of our better days of practice in terms of energy and. Um, just attention to detail and focus. You know, unfortunately, it, it's like life, right? You, I can keep telling them stuff and telling them, but you keep winning, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh shoot, we lost. Now everyone's ears are a little bit more open, and, and they're like, okay, we we want to get back. So I credit I credit them, um, the leadership that they showed the last couple couple days, and also, you know, today on the floor. But uh, this was a this was a much 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 needed win. Um, in response to the Purdue loss. So just really happy with our performance and, and with our fight. Questions for the players? Dahlia, after what happened individually for you and as a team on Thursday, you know, what did you feel like you got back to that allowed you to have the game that you had today? I would say my focus and confidence. Um, I'm surrounded by great people, and they're always pushing me to be my best. But as a team, we're always together and just always having that bounce back mentality. This is a question for both of you. This was one of the more physical Big Ten games I've seen in a very, very long time. What is your feedback and comments on it? Or did you think it was that way, or was it just normal Big Ten play to you? Um, honestly, for us, it's normal. Like. We're gritty and we want all the 50 50 plays. So I didn't feel like it was too physical. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of how we went into it. Like, we have to get the 50 50 plays. So part of it might have been us too, just being more in attack mode. Daly, what did it kind of just mean for you to, to have a, a game like this and, and kind of bounce back from some tough performances? Uh, it means a lot. I just want to be my best for the team. And whether it's getting 11 rebounds or five steals, I'm just going to do it. And I just appreciate everybody keeping me on track. And Coach was kind of telling me, too, she, she got a chance to work with you this week on some stuff with, with uh, Coach Cat being out of town. What was that kind of like to work with her, work with the head coach a little bit? Yeah, uh, it was great. Uh, the hardest work I've ever been through. But um, <laughs> it really helped me a lot. That really We're boosted my confidence. keep doing those then. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, really. I wonder why she was so happy to see Coach Cat coming back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really just gave me confidence, like having your coach believe in you and helping you. And it actually translated to the game. Like, I made a left hand layup. You did. <laughs> I almost jumped up, and I was so happy for you. <laughs> I mean, I think this is the third time this season with at least 5,000 people in the crowd. Just how big was that crowd tonight, and how do you kind of feed off that energy late? Yeah, I didn't really. I just looked and said, "Wow, five thousand! Like that was just almost what we had at the um, Iowa game." So it's just good to have that energy and how loud they get at certain moments of the game. Like when we needed a score, we needed a stop. The crowd was just amazing, so that really helped us too. Genesis, just I mean, the team, the way you shot free throws today. What what kind of gives you the confidence on you know just as a team that you're going to knock down those those shots? Really just, we practice them so much and so often. It's kind of like just routine. So I feel like with free throws, it's just a mental thing. And I feel like it was all in the right head space to knock them down. Anything else for the players? Copy, guys. Thank you. See you, Coach. See you Tuesday. Enjoy your day off. See you Thank you. Coach, tonight you guys, you shot um, 12 three-pointers. And was there a conscious effort to not just launch as many this game, or did you talk about that um, from this game compared to the Purdue game? Launch is a good word, too. I, I like to say jack. Uh, but we watched the whole first half, um, and I thought that was enough misery for all of us to rewatch that first half from the Purdue game uh, the day after. And we saw, like, literally, it all stemmed from we weren't running offense, so then we had gotten to shot clock plays, and then we – had to just launch threes, right? That's not us. If you look, I said it in the media after our last game, I don't think we shot 26, and we weren't making them either. So um, now this is like us. This is why we have been a top uh, three-point shooting team in the country because we're very selective, and we get them out of offense, and we get them out of transition, and we get them out of their rhythm threes. So tonight, it's just a crazy thing, right? You run offense, and you actually run the play, and – you get a shot. So it, it's simple. And that's last two days. All I've said to our team is 
do what we do, do what we've done since literally day one of practice, and it's very, very simple. Don't make this game more complicated. So we got rhythm threes tonight, and now we shot 42%, which is back to what we normally do. Just did you kind of sense that Adelia was going to have a big game today just based on the past couple of days in practice that she was going to bounce back like she did? Yeah, I was I was hoping that and I I felt it and I also I I really believe like when you get in the gym and you just work and you're very intentional of working on certain things that you know you know you have to get better at that those reps and that gym time gives you confidence. And when you have confidence, you're a totally different player. And you saw that from the very beginning. I mean, it was Actually, it's kind of crazy because we, we worked on, in two workouts in two days, we worked on some stuff. And in that first quarter, she, she put everything we worked on into play. And then we also really worked on her free throws, and she made those. So for me, again, that's one thing I really miss, and I, I'm going to keep doing it now. Um, as a head coach, you know, I really want to give my staff, I give them a ton, and they have their positions. But for me to just be able to be on the floor and, and getting those individual workouts in, which is you and the kid, it also builds some of that trust within each other. Like she, know, she knows that I trust her with everything and, and I believe in her. And I just think that a lot of just those reps and her confidence and everything we've been pouring in, her teammates were pouring into her. Uh, I'm just so happy for her. I mean, you can't, Adalia is a kid that you just, you want her to be successful in everything that she does because she's just one of those kids that, like she wants it so bad and she's just such a great person. So I could not be more happy. Uh, for her, and and we needed her. You know, we need her. She's a huge piece to us. Shauna, you mentioned it, but I, middle of the first quarter, I'll just say you politely asked your team to start running some offense, and then Tonight? you got yeah, you got you got buckets. Is there is there a <laughs> is there a sense of if if you guys aren't trying to go 100 miles an hour all the time that there's a there's an efficiency that you guys can have at certain points, especially in league play. See, that shows that I black out sometimes and I don't remember what I say. So I have you guys in that press row to remind me. Thank you. Oh, that, that, that's, a, that's growth for me, so I'm, I'm happy. Um, no, it's just like sometimes I even had to tell them late again, late in the fourth, you know, like we're up. And the press kind of makes you frantic. So now we get out and, and sometimes we made plays, but then I thought we were shooting it too quickly. So... We, we talked about that in a timeout too, like get it out and run offense. Because when we run our offense, usually at least we're getting a good shot. And then it's does the shot go in or not. So, you know, sometimes we're in that scramble mode. It's just a lot of times it doesn't lead to, to good ending. So I'm constantly, and I got to continue to just be on them about that. Um, but it was definitely a conscious effort from film on the day after Purdue and the last two days in practice. We worked it, we drilled it. Phoenix, we don't have it. Our transition right into offense. Just what's been sort of the key for this team to not have back-to-back -back losses? You still haven't had a back-to-back -back loss this season. What's been the, the key to seeing that? Um, I don't know. I just think that it's, some, it's kind of our mindset. And, and unfortunately, I think that, you know, when you, you have to lose and then, it, like, it gets their attention, right? So it gets their attention. They're very, very aware. And we just really preach okay, the bounce back, the response is what we preach all the time. Like how, what, what action are you going to take and, and get back to what we do, what we do works because we've had success when we do it. Um, and then, you know, that's what the message we're giving them and give our team credit that they, they're listening and they're able to, again, put it into action. You know, we can sit here and talk about everything, but it, it, again, you got to go out and execute and, and act and, you know, we've been able to, 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 bounce back in all those, you know, losses. And it kind of is nice too with our schedule of how I think it works out. Like we have a home game, then you have, you know, a tough game. We'll have another home game and hopefully you can continue to protect home court, which is really, really big, especially in the Big Ten. Coach, coming from Dayton and now you're at Illinois in the Big Ten, is the style of play what you thought it was? Is it a lot different? Do you have to adjust what you do as a coach or is it just basketball still the same thing? You know, I think the style of play isn't isn't the biggest difference. It's just obviously the depth of every game is literally anyone can beat anyone, right? And you say that, like we said that at date and we're like, you got you know, I told my team, you gotta be ready. But at sometimes we were just better than other teams. We had better players and, and that couldn't win you some games. 
um, here, everyone has such great players on every team. And, and then you have different styles, right? You have the press of different teams. You have, you know, zone. You have teams that are willing to, like Purdue, that played 23 possessions leading into our game, went all zone against us. And now went all zone against Ohio State in one. So Katie's a genius, right? So she, she'll be playing zone the rest of the year. But I think that's the biggest change is just obviously the quality of, of I mean, the players. Every team, it just has – you know, we'd have to stop maybe a couple players in that league that are really, really good. Here you have everyone's really, really good. So a combination of the players and then obviously just some of the best coaches in the country with their systems, every game's so different. And it's, it's you know, you prep zone, then you prep, you know, press, then you prep blizz, then you prep, you know, press again. I mean, it's just the constant, uh, you know, differences of teams. But it this league is... It's no joke. It's fun, though. That's what we want, right, as competitors? What do you feel like got into Jayla in that first half and led to her aggressiveness yeah. that allowed her to kind of have some confidence? I thought that was great. I loved it, you know. And, and again, she's just had really good energy the last two days in practice. She's been really aggressive. Um, and that's what we need from her. You know, I thought she was really solid in, in eight minutes, but she, you know, six points. I mean, that's that's what we're talking about, those bench points, right? I thought Jada uh, was really solid in, in 11 minutes, hit a, that jumper that was really big right when she got in the game, but more importantly, solid defensively. And, and both of those guys, I actually thought, you know, the bench was really solid in their minutes um, and, and really helped us a lot. Anything else? Thank you.